Hey, it's Pete from NeSpin.com. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how far we've got in the development of our new stand app. And in the last video, we went through how to link PDF documents to our front screen of the new stand app. And we added the HTML to that front screen, the buttons, the view buttons, to actually open the PDFs. So each PDF would be an individual issue of the magazine. So as you can see, I've got my iPad displaying on the screen here. I'm going to open Seattle Clouds. I'm already logged in. And I'm going to click on the app. And then we need to synchronize the files to get all the latest ones onto our iPad. Here we go. It's doing it automatically. Nearly there. It's downloading the PDFs, HTML, everything. Okay, here we go. So as you can see, this is our new stand app, just like as before. We've linked up all the view buttons to individual PDFs. So let's see if they work. So I'll click on the um, latest one, issue seven, I'll click view. And there we go, it's displaying our issue number seven PDF file. I'll just click on the screen and it zooms in. As you can see, looks really nice zoom in even more and zoom right out and that's the full sort of page view of our PDF magazine I can scroll to the left which brings up the next page keep going page 3 page 4 page 5 and I think that's it okay let's go back page 4 page 3 and you'll see at the bottom yeah, there's a load of dots. It's like a little placeholder showing where we are in the magazine. So if I put my finger on that, scroll left and right, you can see, um, oh, this gives the user to jump to a certain place in the magazine. So page six, five, four, three, two, one. Pretty cool, eh? So if you watched the last video, you'll have seen it was really easy to create an issue for your magazine app just using PDFs. And as I'm demonstrating here, it all works seamlessly. So I can click the back button and we're back to the dashboard or what shall I call it, magazine shelf. And then we can choose another one. I'll choose issue four. There we go. And there's issue number four. Go back. Let's choose issue one. And there's issue one. Now there is something you, you see here. We've gone straight to page five for some reason. I don't know why that is. I'm using the scroller along the bottom to pick the page we want. So I'm at page three. Let's go back and let's go into issue two. Now that started at page one. Let's go back, go back to issue number one. And we're at page three. So it seems to be remembering in memory where we are, or where we were. Would help if I could speak. But anyway, <laughs> that's, uh, that's about it. That's all I need to show you. Because we did the development work in the previous video, and this just shows it all working. So you can see we've got more or less all the development work done for our iPad um, new stand up. All we need to do now is get it set up in iTunes Connect, you know, actually create an app and then do all the various linking to make sure that we can publish the app uh, through iTunes Connect and make it available in iTunes. Now, obviously, I'm not going to do that with this magazine because there's no content. What I will do, let me just move this into play. What I will do is create a new magazine. And I think what I'm going to do and it'll be a good test, is create a magazine for nichebin.com itself. Because I want to document lots of different projects, I will turn each one of those projects into an individual issue of a magazine. Now, if you think about it, this differs a little bit from a normal, uh, a normal magazine in that you would have maybe an issue in January and February, just like we've got set up here. I'm going to change it around a little bit so each issue is an individual project and maybe that way people won't be 
uh, that bothered about always getting the latest issue they will more focus on the actual content so if we have an issue that focuses on creating new stand apps that issue of the magazine can be sold month after month after month you know the problem I think with uh, most standard magazines is you always want the latest issue like today is what's what's this month it's October we always want the October issue of the magazine and we're not really going to be buying the September the August and July but if we change the model around a little bit and have it so the content is relevant all year long for a number of years then it gives us a better chance of making more money with the app hopefully it will encourage more users to download the app and make use of the individual issues that are published through the magazine app over time anyway i'll leave it there I hope you think this is pretty cool i'd love to know your comments so please make a comment in the blog post or if you're watching this on youtube just put a comment in the youtube comment section that's about it take care and keep visiting the blog thanks a lot bye, -bye.